Hey, do you have swollen feet? Is it hard to take your shoes and socks off at the end of the day? In this video, I'm going to be teaching you about swollen feet in multiple sclerosis. To learn about that, don't turn away because it starts right now. Howdy! Thanks for learning about MS with me, Aaron Boster. I started this YouTube channel to help my own MS clinic patients learn between visits, and it's my hope that through these videos, I can help you learn too. Today's video focuses on a symptom commonly seen in MS, but it's not neurologic. It's a symptom of swollen feet. In this video, I'm going to talk about common causes of leg swelling, things to look out for, danger signs, and some commonly used tricks and tips to try to make it better. Of course, as always, I can't give you medical advice on a video, I'm simply providing medical education. And if you notice that you have swelling of your feet, I certainly would encourage you to talk to your provider. So with that disclaimer, let's jump in. If you have a hot to the touch leg, if it's red, if you're running a fever, if it's painful, in my mind, you need to get evaluated quickly. You may need to go to the emergency department and be checked out. And obviously, we want to rule out things like cellulitis, which is an infection of the skin that can get into the soft tissue of the leg and cause painful swelling. We want to rule out a deep vein thrombosis or a blood clot, uh, which can form sometimes in the veins of the leg. And the problem is that they can go up and get in the heart and lungs and cause serious medical problems. So we need to be evaluated by clinicians in order to sort those things out. But that's not what I commonly see in clinic. People in clinic will point out they notice that their socks and shoes are really tight, particularly at the end of the day. Most commonly, I see one or both legs where there's some mild to moderate edema, swelling. And if there's a quote, good leg and a bad leg, typically the edema and the swelling is in the bad leg. We also might notice discoloration, blue or red or some color like that. And what we're seeing here really is swelling in part because of disuse and in part because of the way that blood flows through the body and returns. And so let me explain. The heart pumps out blood and it sends it to the ends of the body. So your heart's pumping out blood and it goes down your arteries, down into your foot, into the capillaries. And then from the capillaries, it goes back into the veins. So the veins go back up the leg to return the blood to the heart. But unlike the arteries, which have the heart pushing blood, the veins don't have that same pump. And so one of the major ways that we bring blood back up is by pumping the muscles of the legs. The veins have one-way valves, so if blood goes forward, it can't back up too much. And when the leg's moving, particularly the calf, when the calf is pumping, it's constantly squeezing those veins, and it sort of acts like the heart and pushes the blood back up uh, into the heart. Now, if you have a bad leg that doesn't move as much as the good leg, you are not pumping that calf as often, and as blood is pulled down, it may not be coming back up as readily. And so it's in that scenario that I oftentimes see a slightly swollen leg uh, with some discoloration. We have to rule out scary things like deep vein thromboses and infections like cellulitis. But when you're dealing with this leg that's gotten a little bit swollen because it can't move as well, there's some things that we can try to do. One of them is to get moving to the extent that you can. If that means that you need to work with a physical therapist on stretching and strengthening and hopefully walking, that's awesome. I think medical massage and massaging the legs can also help. But, but let me give you two pro tips that I think are very helpful. If you put the feet above the level of the heart, so you got your foot over the level of your heart, gravity will help drain the fluid out of your soft tissue of your legs into the veins and back down to your heart. You have to have your feet above the level of your heart. So if you're laying flat in bed, that doesn't cut it. And if you're in a lazy boy recliner, that doesn't cut it. We literally have to get the feet above the level of the head. So how do you do that? Well, sometimes a lazy boy chair will recline that much, or you can put a pillow under your feet. Or if you're laying on the couch, you can put a couch pillow under your foot. Some wheelchairs will actually dip back that far. And so any of those maneuvers to kick your feet up, even for just a few minutes, although I would recommend much longer, can really help. 
Certainly, if you're gonna take a nap in the middle of the day, this is a great opportunity to prop your feet up and to let the blood drain. Likewise, if you take two red bricks and put them at the foot of your bed, not tall ways, just the two inches, the foot of your bed will slightly be above the level of the head of your bed. And not in a very severe way. You're not gonna feel like you're falling backwards, but when you're in bed, your feet are over the level of your heart. And this is a really helpful pro tip to help drain fluid back out of the legs. A second one is to make a purchase of Job stockings or Ted hose. So these are white support stockings that are really tight in the feet and they actually loosen as they go up. And they're very tight to put on and you can wear them during the day to help keep the fluid from pooling in your feet. So by elevating the feet over the level of the heart and by using Job stockings or Ted hose, we can really make a difference. If you or someone you love is impacted by MS and you wanna up your game, check out this video up here. YouTube thinks that you would really enjoy this video right here, and so you might wanna check that out. And if you haven't yet, please click the circle over my head and subscribe to the channel. Until my next video or my next live stream, this is Aaron Boster saying thank you for learning about MS with me.